Hi everyone, I'm Maya. And I'm Rhea. Welcome back to another Sci Twins video on COVID, COVID terminology you, you need to know. I hope everyone's staying safe and sane during these troublesome times. In the news, there's been a lot of media lately on complex COVID-19 terms. In this video, we will break down all of the terms and help explain them. First, let's start with some of the organizations involved in the fight against COVID-19. Two of them are called the WHO and the CDC. WHO stands for World Health Organization, and they are an agency of the United Nations. Their headquarters are located in Geneva, Switzerland, and they are responsible for international public health. CDC stands for Center for Disease Control, and their headquarters are located in Atlanta, Georgia. The CDC is a U.S. federal agency and falls under the Department of Health and Human Services. It serves as a public health expert in outbreak investigations and works closely with state and local health officials to gather evidence about exposures, such as to foods or contact with animals that ill people had in common. Now let's talk more about the spread of the virus. Epidemiology is a study of the incidence, distribution, and possible control of diseases and other factors relating to health. You might have heard that COVID was first called an epidemic and then it was declared a global pandemic on March 11th. But what is an epidemic and what is a pandemic? An epidemic is a large spread of disease to a large amount of people in a community. A pandemic is a severe and large outbreak of a disease over a wide geographical area. You can remember how to differentiate these terms by their roots. Epi means upon, while pan means all. By now, everyone has heard the terms social distancing, stay at home, or quarantine. Social distancing, recommended by the CDC and other organizations, means that you should stay six feet away from all other people. The reason for this is to minimize exposure to the disease. A stay-at-home order has been also in place in many states and cities in the U.S. Quarantine is the term for the state or period of isolation for people who have been exposed to an infectious or contagious disease. Many people have been self-quarantining themselves for two weeks if they believe that they have been exposed to the coronavirus. Another term related to quarantine is contact tracing. Contact tracing helps monitor the contacts of infected people. It also supports the quarantine of people who came in contact with others. There is some terminology associated with the virus itself. What is the difference between coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, and COVID-19? Coronavirus is a family of viruses. Click the link in the description below to check out our video all about viruses. The current pandemic is caused by SARS-CoV-2, the novel coronavirus, which is a type of coronavirus. SARS-CoV-2 stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome-Related Coronavirus 2. Finally, COVID-19 is the disease caused by SARS-CoV-2. PPE, also known as Personal and Protective Equipment, protects healthcare workers on the front lines. PPE includes clothing, masks, and other garments to protect from infection. A ventilator is a machine which provides mechanical ventilation by moving air in and out of the lungs. Ventilators are being used to help COVID patients that have difficulty breathing or are unable to breathe. Another term that has been on the news lately is herd immunity. Herd immunity is an indirect form of immunity where a large percent of the population is immune to an infection either through vaccination or a previous infection. When a large amount of the population is immune to a disease, it decreases the risk for people not immune. To be clear, herd immunity only works for diseases spread through human contact. Finally, another important term is to flatten the curve. But what is the curve? According to the CDC, a curve is a visual display of the onset of illness among cases associated with an outbreak. By flattening the curve, it spreads out the rate of infection to avoid overwhelming healthcare workers. If everyone is outside, more people will get sick at the same time. If you decrease how many people get sick over time, patients can get treatment without exhausting hospitals and resources. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get a notification every time we post a new video.